Okay, uh, you can see here I got myself the Thunder AC6 battery charger. Now, I went ahead and picked this up at X Heli. They have these battery chargers. They have them at a great price. They also have another model, a little bit cheaper than this. Um, same basic functions, uh, a little bit different design, big difference. This one includes an AC power supply. The other, the cheaper version does not. Uh, both versions run on 12 volt. Uh, you can see here you got an additional plug. You can plug this in so that way you can take this with you, hook it up to a battery, uh, car battery, any other 12 volt power source, and again, charge on the go. Very handy to have. Uh, both battery chargers, though, they'll charge pretty much all types of lithium batteries. Uh, it also charges the NICD batteries as well as the NIMH. And uh, it also charges lead batteries. Although, generally, you're probably going to be using it to charge LiPos, the lithium polymer batteries. And this charger will charge up to 6-cell LiPos, uh, the 22.2-volt uh, batteries. And it'll charge up to 5 amps. Now, to give you an idea here, this is a stock Exceed RC battery charger. Pretty much the same thing as like the eSky battery charger and some of the older E-Flight chargers. Uh, now, this one charges both 2 and 3 cell LiPos, but it only charges at 0.8 amps. This will charge up to 5 amps. So, a battery like this, 3 cell battery, on a stock charger like this, would probably take around two, two and a half hours. You can easily cut that in half with a nice charger. On here, you'd probably be looking at charge times of like an, right around an hour, hour and a half. Very handy. If you have a lot of batteries, you need to be able to charge them quick. Uh, another really good feature about this is it's a balanced charger. Uh, you want the voltage of all the cells to be the same. Um, so when you charge it, it's nice that it balances it as it charges. You can use a separate chart or balancer, but it's just one extra thing to carry around versus balance it when it charges. Now, this will also discharge your batteries, and it's also got a fast charge mode as well as a storage mode. Storage mode, that's really handy if you're not going to be using your batteries for a long time. It'll either charge or discharge your batteries until they're at 3.85 volts per cell, which is a nice voltage to store the batteries at. Uh, the fast charge feature, well, I don't really know that you want to fast charge your batteries. Uh, that is, you know, especially the lithium polymer batteries because it'll shorten the lifespan on them. Uh, I just suggest you buy more batteries rather than fast charge them. The, uh, they also have like an optional temperature sensor for your batteries you can use. Um, it comes with a USB cable, so you can plug it in, hook it up to your computer, and monitor your batteries. It comes with a wide range of miscellaneous plugs, hook up pretty much anything, and... This is your balancing port for your lithium polymer batteries. So uh, I'm going to just show you the basics of how to charge your lithium polymer batteries. Always, as always, read the manual front to back. It is pretty in-depth. Got a, you know, a lot of very important information. If you don't read this, you're going to be in the dark. So, Okay, a uh, little quick start guide to charging your lithium polymer batteries here. Uh, now again, mine has the built-in AC adapter here, so all i got to do is plug it in. Uh, the other ones, the little bit cheaper versions, you have to have a separate power, 12-volt uh, power source, whether it be a power supply or, say, car battery. Uh, neither of them use, uh, have on-off switches, so when you plug them in, they're on. First plug it in, it'll beep at you. Uh, over here on the side, I'm going to plug in this little balancing plug here. And also, the banana plugs so the battery here that I've got this is a 18.5 volt lithium polymer battery uh, 5 cell here and on this little port here you can see you got your balancing ports for 2 cell 3 cell 4 cell 5 cell and 6 cell if you're wondering why there's no port for 1 cell there's no reason to balance a 1 cell battery because it's only got 1 cell uh, so again I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up Hook it up to the balancing port, and then be careful when you hook this up because they only go together one way. But if you turn around backwards, you can spark it, and you'd re you really don't want to do that. So make sure you're always holding it in the right direction. Go ahead, plug that in. Okay, so when you first start off, hitting the stop button here, this will select the types of batteries that you can charge. Uh, you can charge the NMA8, the NICD, uh, the lead batteries. You can also once you program in. Right here, you can set the user program. 
you can load up and uh, save data. And the other thing is you can, for your lithium polymer batteries. So what you want to do is you want to be on your lithium polymer batteries. Go ahead, hit start. And here you can select the types of charging. You can go lithium charge. You can go discharge mode. You can go storage mode. Fast charge. And balance charge, lipo balance. Now this is the one I always use. If you don't, if you're not doing a balance charge, you don't need to use your balancing port. Uh, but again, there's really you always want to balance your batteries as you charge. So, anyways, this is what I want to do. And again, I'm using a five cell, 18.5 volt battery. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit start because I'm on lipo balance. Now I can select my amp rate. Uh, my battery is a 4800 milliamp. So my personal preference, I'm not telling you to do this, um, but this is just what I do. I charge at 1 amp per 1,000 milliamps. So I have a 4,800 4, milliamp battery, so I'm going to charge that at 4.8 amps. Again, this is just what I do. Now, since I have my amp set right, I'm going to go over and adjust the voltage because this is a 5-cell battery, so I'm going to adjust it here. And that's what these for. These little. So again, 18.5 volt. Now, what you're going to do is you hold down the start button, and it's going to beep at you. Now it's checking to make sure that you set it right. If you put, like, okay, so this is an 18.5 volt battery. If I had put it on 22.2 volt, it wouldn't start. It'll say, hey, this isn't a 6 cell battery, this is a 5 cell battery. So again, that's just going to confirm that you set it right. And now, what you got to do is you got to hit enter. Hit the green button again. Now it's charging. And with it charging here, you can see a couple of things. You can see lithium 5 cell. You can see that I'm on balance charge. This is the total time that's elapsed since I've been charging. This is pretty much like the amount of voltage or power or whatever that has been put back into the battery. That is the current total voltage for the battery. And that is the current uh, charging current. Now, the other thing you can do, if you hit the yellow button, it'll go to this screen, and this will tell you the individual voltage per cell. You can see here, this is my first cell, second cell, third cell, fourth, and fifth. Um, now, this is so handy because sometimes you'll have an individual cell in your battery die. Now, you'll be able to charge the battery, but when you go to use it in the helicopter, you'll have no power, and the helicopter won't fly. That can be due to a bad cell. And again, you'll, it'll charge like normal, but it won't perform. And being able to look at the individual cells will allow you to see if there is a bad cell. Generally, they should all be within four, five tenths of a volt, you know, within each other. So, uh, and another thing is you don't ever want to drain your batteries below 3.7 volts. And they have little alarms that you can install on your helicopter or when you are done flying and you start charging your battery, Go through to this menu, see how much voltage you have in reference to how much time that you just spent flying, and that will start to give you an idea of your max flight times that you can safely fly without damaging your battery. Okay, I had a buddy stop by, and he picked up the Thunder T6 here. He bought this one because this one was out of stock. Um, again, the, the basic functions of these are the same. Uh, except this one includes an AC adapter. This one does not. You have to use an optional adapter. Uh, but he told me that XLE does per, uh, sell an uh, optional 12 volt power supply for this charger. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Again, the connections are the same. You can see here. Um, they both, again, run on 12 volt. You can take both of them with you. Because the USB plug here, the temperature sensor, your. Well, that's not used, actually, on this. And that's where the 12-volt power source is. And again, same thing on this one. So, again, either of these chargers, I definitely recommend getting at least one of them. I mean, the price is right. Uh, they work great, and, you know, it's definitely going to help you get some more flight time.